Uh, start the JC. Uh, start the JC. Yeah, we gotta start the show. Come on, hurry up. Start the Josh Cast. Uh, start the Josh Cast. Uh, I can't stop saying nigger. Uh, I can't stop saying nigger, folks. I, I just can't stop saying it. Uh, my threats is getting worse. Oh, <clears throat> oh, oh. Record. Okay. Yeah, all right. Hey, folks. It's Tuesday night here. Don't mind that weird intro. Uh, I'm not gonna apologize for that, but it's Tuesday night here, and Sunday night after I was uh, uploading the video for the last Josh Cast, my parents brought me back a uh, cheese steak from this. Uh, the, the live stream video you saw me, uh, my dad won a little bit of money on the lottery, so I ate so much on Sunday night. I, mean, I was even, I was already full. I already had chicken tacos, I had breakfast, I had some fried chicken, and then like 9 o'clock at night, I'm eating a fucking cheesesteak, and I was stuffed. I put the heat on. That's right, folks, the heat on, and I was just fucking sweating. I woke up the next day, I'm surprised I'm still alive. My God, and... um. And then last night, I finally did the boat open mic. I wanted to do that for a while. I wasn't going to go, and I said, fuck it. Let me stop being lazy. Let me go up there. So at first, so you guys can see, I made a video about it on YouTube. It wasn't that interesting, but I decided to put it up. I got lost. Um, I followed the Google Maps, but it said to turn, uh, I don't know. I should have turned left, but I turned right. So I walked all the way down, all the way down. Nobody knew where it was. And finally, I found it. But the good news was nobody wanted to go on first. But your boy Josh Jack went on first. It's mostly comics there, but you know I had to. I, I did better than Saturday Night. You know I did rape jokes. I did uh, said cunt. You know and stuff. I talked about my shit race and everything. Got some decent laughs, and that was cool. And then tonight I was gonna do some salsa, but uh, you know, listen, I wouldn't say I got lazy or anything, or my stomach doesn't hurt. We'll save that for another time. And when I say do salsa, I don't plan to talk to any hoes or dance with any hoes. I just want to see if that same gay. Hispanic instructors there, that Latin guy that goes, yes, yes. And uh, we'll see if he's still there and uh, just talk to the Asian bouncer and just leave. I like to leave because the Asian bouncer gets frustrated. He's like, come on, man, there's girls here. They're looking to have sex with a guy like you. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, anyway, after this clip, you're going to hear uh, Tommy Likes Salami. This is a very old prank call I did. God, man. What is it, about fucking 15, 16 years ago? I was a loser then, and folks, I'm still a loser now. And let's let's read some of the comments that have been on the Josh Jack channel lately. Um, I'm at work. Hopefully you will say the N-word a lot of times to get me fired. Uh, somebody else uh, wrote, you guys cannot pronounce toilet to save your lives. Next time, start your set with, I'm a transgender man. And I bet anything you say, anything you say, the crowd will laugh. Did you try to look around for bodies of water? That was on my video of me trying to find the, uh, the, 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 the Ben Franklin yacht. Instead of putting a wipe in your ass, try a tampon. They're highly absorbent. Maybe you can make your own brand of butt tampons. Josh plugs. Walk around in public asking people if they've seen little Jimmy. If they say no, whip your dick out. Go into a Chuck E. Cheese and rip your shirt off. Hulk Hogan style exposing your oiled up chest. That would be a good video. Um, every time we talk to a woman, for now on phrase like this, Hello, you're probably too stupid to know, but... Um, so anyways, all those comments were from Jack Mama, except for the toilet one. That was Bill Miller. So, yeah, keep them coming, folks. Keep the comments coming. Unless you, only if you have something really to say. Well, anyways, I think the Warriors game's on right now. The Warriors versus the Raptors. Let's see if it is. Um, I had, oh, it hasn't started. Oh, that's tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm mistaken. I don't care who wins. It doesn't matter, but... Yeah, we'll see. So let's get to the topical news, which is pretty much a, a 60% of this show due to lack of guest. I can't believe people don't want to be associated with me. <laughs> Couple spends 20 years planting millions of trees on a barren cattle ranch. Oh, well, that's, that's great. We can get paper now, right? Isn't that what trees are for, for paper? Blake Seven and Doctor Who has uh, died. Uh, Paul Darrow, I'm not familiar with wherever he passed away at 78. Well, Julia Roberts said she had no business being a pretty woman. Really? You weren't supposed to be a whore that you are? Oh. I don't want to get sued. Allegedly. Biden accused of plagiarizing parts of his new climate platform. Jennifer Lopez has two words for staying young. Cum face. Get it? That's a joke I just made up. That's pretty good. She gets cum in her face, folks. No? Woman thought she had a tumor. Was it tapeworm? Oh, thank God. That's nice. Uh, you know. Anytime it's not cancer or anything, that's... I'm getting bitten here by freaking mosquitoes. I keep telling my parents to close the fucking door. That's right, folks. 32 years old, going on 33, living in my parents' basement. Doing a podcast for just a couple people. Yep, that's my life. 
Um, it says Mueller witness gets FBI escort to Virginia to face porn charges. George Nader. I remember Ralph Nader used to run. Remember him? Dad irate as some of autism gets most annoying to work. That's that is fucked up, man. That that, that bothers me because it's not his fault. He was born that way. So yeah, I agree with him on that. He should sue. Really, senior celebrates graduation with pizza party for the homeless. Well, that's nice. Now after they do coke and heroin, most of these fucking they can just um. You know, eat some pizza. Or, uh, remains uh, found in Florida, identified as a missing York woman. Folks, anybody can do this podcast. It takes no talent. All I'm doing is reading news stories that you can read too. Why don't you all start your podcast like this and I'll listen to it. Just send me the link. Alright. Make sure it's on YouTube though, because I don't like uh, iTunes like everybody else. iTunes are for Jews. Alright, enough of that. Let's see. Teen sells enough cupcakes to take her family to Disney World. My parents never took me to Disney World. They fucking hate me. But I don't care now. I mean, I'm, I probably would have been scared of the rides, and I probably would have puked and shit myself. So maybe it's... Maybe some, some things, folks, are, are for the best. Uh, U.S. woman dies day before U.S. couple did at the same Dominican resort. Okay, so let's close that resort down. It says, uh, Walmart cameras capture these hilarious photos. It shows a woman trying to take a picture of her ass next to some Apple Jack cereal. Yum! Apple ass. Uh, fired for pulling a gun on a black couple. XKAO staffer has been arrested. Yeah, there's also a story going around. You're going to hear it on Public Freakout. This uh, woman was on the phone with his uh, hotel worker. And she called him a stupid N. And um, he got upset with her. And she ch- he, I think he's recording them. But uh, we're gonna get to that on public freakouts. There's gotta be a way I can find that. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a good one, guys. That's gonna be fantastic. I like that kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be racial, you know. But I like fast food arguments. I like stupid arguments. Look at people just fight over. MTV is rebooting Punk and Singled Out. Really, really Singled Out. I can understand Punk maybe because pranks are still popular. But Singled Out. Hey, let's get Jenny McCarthy. Let's get her again, that stupid whore. Aha, uh-huh. the guy of Jeopardy, Hulls Hewer, reacts to fans saying he lost on purpose. He probably did. He probably just was like, I'm tired of this shit. Enough. Man helps blind dog regain confidence by hiking. How the fuck do you know if a dog has confidence or not? I don't think dogs have confidence. I really don't. Deputy charged for an action during a parkland shoot. Oh, yeah, I heard this guy was groping people. This is sick. Is this the story? Uh, was arrested. Rations, prosecutors. Um, 56-year-old faces child neglect. Um, sentence of 100 years. I'm trying to read the story where this guy, he was busy groping kids' ass during, like, an emergency. I think that's him, but I don't want to... I don't want to get sued. I'm not sure. If, a lot of people listen to this show as you... As you guys, as you guys know, it's a very popular show, and I can get sued even more than Joe Rogan. That's right, I get more views than Joe Rogan. It just doesn't show up for you some reason on YouTube. I, I, I don't know why. I, I, I have no, I have no idea. Well, folks, uh, that's it for the uh, segment here. That's the end of the show. I'm out of here. Have a good week. No, I'm kidding. That should be the end of the show. But this is the first comedy podcast, but the worst comedy podcast. And this is your favorite podcast show you don't listen to. We got public freakouts, we got sober commentary, and anything else that happens. So keep listening to find out what happens next. Hello? 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 Yeah. Is this a deli? This is murder. Okay. You got a big salami? <laughs>
when attractive girls work with sandwiches, touch, and meat and stuff, I tell you, I would dry hump them in an instant. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Hi, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. My name's Tom. Want to order something? No, I was basically wanting to know if you guys are hiring. Oh, no, sorry, we're not. Uh, well, I asked the guy that um, answered the phone, and he, I asked him if you, if you girls were um, attractive, and he said you were. If we were attractive? Yeah, he said you guys are good looking. Yeah, we might. Because uh, I, I said that I would love, you know, to work there with you ladies. You'd love to work here? Yeah. There's this guy Brian that's really nice looking. How much are you looking for? Well, I like, I want to touch you. You like what? I don't know. Why? I'm calling the police. What kind of white salami are you looking for? Uh, uh, brown salami. Brown salami? Yeah. Yeah. We got we got a girl down here. She usually carries brown salami with her. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh, I want to put my brown salami in her. If you know what I'm saying, pal. Oh, that's fantastic. He said he's looking to stick his brown salami somewhere. We got a lot of big salamis down here. Is that a big? Oh, I heard she has a good. Hello. All right, it's Thursday night here, and uh, last night didn't do anything. I wanted to walk around the city, but it ended up raining last night, so I'm glad I didn't. But I walked around the city uh, today, played some basketball yesterday. Today just went on a walk. I went to the gym today. I only did like five minutes of lifting because I already went on my walk. That's not going to get me anywhere, but I was thinking, just lift, bro. Just lift. I need to make a video about that. Anyways, uh, but I walked around the city doing some Jack POV, and first time walking around the city during the daytime. Or the afternoon, or the evening, I should say, in a long time, maybe since last summer or end of last summer. Been a long time, nothing interesting happened. I saw a guy with a t-shirt on that said something about the uh, woman or like the gun. I said, because they blow. And he said, no, this is a feminist shirt. And he got upset. And then there was this black guy trying to sing. He fucking sucked. And, uh, and that's pretty much all that really fucking happened. I had a really nasty train ride up. I talked about that. Nothing interesting happened as usual in my life. And the fucking, uh, that's it. So let's get to the, uh, the fucking topic news. I think next week I'm gonna try to set up a Josh cast, not live, with Billy Miller and Willie Fritz, if they're up for it. I'm not sure, because they're busy doing their video game roast stuff. But I'm gonna see you next Thursday, maybe we can go over Bill's house again and see if we can do another episode. We'll see, folks. Depends on the weather, depends if they're free. I would say about a 40% chance will happen, but, hey, listen. Uh, so anyway, let's get to the topic news. The fucking, uh, the Raptors won game three. Those of you who still follow the basketballs, yep, they, I didn't watch the game, but I was checking it last night on Google, and uh, hmm, it's 2-1 right now. They don't got Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson set out, so looks like those sticking Canadians are going to steal one, but the Canadians are going to be so happy. Hey, good things do happen in life, eh? Yeah, that's my impression of uh, of a Canadian, or that's a, yeah, I don't know, I, I'm not good at uh, impressions, uh, it says, uh, Granger Smith's son dies in a tragic drowning incident. I don't know who that guy is. Is he a race car driver? He looks like some sort of uh, athlete or race car driver. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, at home, singers. Oh, he's a singer. He's a country singer. I figured he was something like that. Uh, well, that sucks. No joke there. Uh, man lost a remote hiking trail for nearly a week. But he looks happy, though. Why is he smiling in the picture? Sometimes it's good to get lost. but Sometimes it's... It's not, especially if you have to poop. We have been thrown up for eight hours. Couple, couple who died in Fiji emailed family. Like Fiji the water? Why Tan of Queer Art quit his job as a flight attendant after two months? He looks super, super gay. Mueller witness Nader remains in custody after child porn charge. Man, this bitch's legs is nasty as shit, man. Uh, chopper rescue turns scary as stretcher spins. Ooh. That is pretty scary. This podcast, anybody can do once again, folks. I want to hear your show. You guys just read news articles and make your bad jokes. Come on, everybody. Let's do it. Let's fucking... Man, it's going to be a boring summer. I applied for jobs. Don't know jobs yet. Don't know calls. I'm so desperate now. I consider working fast food jobs. I'm going to be working fast food jobs in the area. And I'm just going to quit after two weeks. Make some money. Pay my cell phone bill. You know. Thinking about dumping out my bottle of the Jacked. Uh, I don't know. Only got a little bit left in there. I don't want to drink anymore, folks. I mean, unless I'm hanging out doing a podcast, I'll drink. Uh, Kevin Durant rolled out for Game 4 of NBA Finals. Why? What did he do? I'm trying to pause this stupid ad. 
rolled out against uh oh the coach said that Durant has not played oh he has a calf injury yes yeah, so he I don't know man let's the uh, they're gonna have to just put in Clay Thompson and KD folks uh, and just let them play who cares if they injured or something they got the whole season the rest right who cares it's all about the finals don't you want to win uh, Joey Vertone gets divorced. He's the guy who got fat after Ed Sink. He kind of looks like me if I was Italian. And uh, his wife for 15 years, longtime girlfriend. Ah, well, you shouldn't have a girlfriend anyway, Bubby. You were an Ed Sink at the prime. You should be fucking like crazy. Mama Five with license. Oh, wait. Go MGTOW, bros. That's my catchphrase. Uh, Mama Five with license to carry shoots a violent ex. Also, read a story of a woman. She got drunk at a party and slit this guy's wrist. You don't really hear about it much in the media because, uh, you know. NBA bans Warriors pet owner for shoving a player. Oh, you can't do that. Okay, folks, that's it for the topical news. There's going to be, uh, there should be some public freakout commentary. I don't know how much. As I said, I have, I should be, I haven't, I should be able to have the audio of the uh, white woman calm, the, the black hotel worker, the end, and that whole thing. I should have, and a couple other things. But yeah, stay tuned for that, and we'll go on from there. All right, now. All right, public freakout commentary. Titled assholes recorded, NBA recorded all around the world. Every radio show here and there plays clips, but this is the best show that covers it with the best coverage. I got eight clips for you. That's right, eight. Two are like kind of long, the rest are short. But uh, the, uh, the the Reddit's been blowing up uh, pretty much for the public freakouts. I can't keep up. There's a lot of clips I'm missing. I wish the channels were still around. It was much easier to go to YouTube and just watch the videos, but YouTube's cracking down because... They don't want to show how violent black people are, and they don't want to show people getting called the N word, and they don't want to they don't want to show white liberals being douchebags. You know, you know how YouTube is, folks. They like to censor real life. But let's see. The first one you guys may have heard about. Uh, this is the the hotel worker that um, pretty much he got five hundred and thirty six thousand retweets. Uh, no Friday is his Twitter. No Friday with a Y. Black guy. He's a hotel worker. This was played on Jim and Sam show. And he gets called a F and N, and uh, yeah, let's get to this. And it's only a minute. He only re- he doesn't record the woman. Surprise! Usually, black people try to get white people in trouble, but let's get to this. And then, but you called me a uh, well, fucking I nigger. Stay here. My mother died. I understand that, but you called me a fucking I'm sorry. nigger. No, I'm sorry. you weren't sorry when you said it on the phone. I was- Listen, there was no, people screaming No, but at, home. at the end of the day, a, and the, the climate break. that we live in today, society, I, I, was sorry. I understand that, but it's it's above me now. Can, I need a room tonight. Well, there's the best restaurant next door. No, please, let me hear. My daughter's here. I'm sorry, but, I mean, I was on the phone when you said it. I said, I'm sorry. Please, I've been in a... I've had a horrible day And today. I had a horrible time when hearing that. He won't let me in. It's, it's above me. She called me a fucking nigger. Sir, my grandma just I died. understand that, but it's above me. Let me, please let me. It's above me. Sorry. I got my the best card. restaurant is next door. Sir, the rest of our family I understand is here. that, but it's above me. Please. I She said what she you. said. I understand that. I understand. She's very... It's- now, why is the video only a minute? It's got to be longer, but it's just funny because he's gay. You know, and he's saying it so innocently. He's like, she called me a fucking nigger. It's just so. <laughs> Why didn't she should have called him a fucking faggot nigger? Uh, but here's the, here's audio. Actually, I actually had I actually found audio. This took a lot of research. Here's audio of the woman on the phone with him. This is what took place before, and this is a Josh Cass exclusive. Let's 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 hear what happened. Nigger, 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 what? nigger. Wow, she sounds like a man. I can't believe she sounded like that. Okay, obviously that's a joke. All right, so let's get to the next clip. This is a uh, a black guy. He's mad at these Trump supporters, and he's gonna he spits at he spits in a woman's face, which uh, I actually approve of. And uh, <laughs> he st- he starts going crazy, literally going ape shit. But uh, yeah, because he he might lose his food stamps, and blacks love the food stamps, so. <laughs> Let's get to this. This is kind of long. So I noticed that when it comes to like certain people his size, he wasn't that scared 
But then when it comes to, like, woman and Asians, she's very tough. So he gets in the Asian guy's face, and the Asian guy immediately moved away. Oh, oh, scary Negro. Oh. <laughs> so he moves away. So the Asian guy tried to, like, put his elbow up to protect himself. And this is something that black guys do. I don't know if they realize it. Some of them. They do this thing where they get in your face. And then when you put your hand up to say, hey, get out of my face, they go, don't touch me. And it's like, well, if you don't want me to touch you... Even this one comedian that tried to fight me years ago, this big-toothed black guy, he was getting in my face, so I put my hand up and say, hey, get out of my face. He said, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'll knock you out. And it's like, well, get out of my face. <laughs> so now he's going to uh, beat up this Asian guy. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Why are you going crazy, man? Fuck Donald Trump, nigga. You're not even supposed to be parked right there. Fuck Donald Trump. 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 Oh, because he don't like my skin. I would have said, excuse me, Darkie, did you know that Donald Trump donated billions of dollars, not donating, he gave billions of dollars to black scholarships, regardless of why he did it? Did you realize that? Oh, no, you don't know your facts, do you? Oh, he slapped the hat right off his face. Oh, man. Hey, why are you assaulting people, bro? Fuck Donald Trump, nigga. Stop believing in the lie. I would have been like, what about Kanye West? Violent these people are. Violent. What about Kanye West? Trump haters are violent as fuck. Trump haters are violent as fuck. Now, most liberals are actually pussies, but we're talking about a black guy here, a real G. So now this old white guy said something to him, and now the black guy turns around again and goes, What? Fuck you, nigga. Fuck the old man, bro. What are you doing? Fuck you and Donald Trump, nigga. What the fuck? Look, look, not even supposed to be parked here. Illegally parked. Cause you ain't gonna do shit. Uh, <laughs> so this is where he gets mad at the Asian lady. The Asian lady put him in his place and said, "He's your president," and it's so true. No matter what you think of Trump, he's your president, regardless of if you want to call him that. And this is where he gets pissed because he gets owned, and now he's gonna come back and spit in her face. Which, once again, I think more women deserve spit in their face. But uh, you know, in this case. Uh, this guy's just, he's just big, he's bigger than most people, so he's bully, he's, he's, he went up to, right to the Asian guy, got in his face, he went straight up to the, uh, old guy, got in his face, he spit in this woman's face, but there was, like, one or two white dudes that were kind of big, and he didn't get, he didn't get in their face, because, you know, he's a pussy. Guess what, and hey, guess what, why you so mad? Ass, bitch, fuck you and that nigga. And then he just spit on her, but he didn't spit, like, too much, it was like a slob. <laughs> you see this handicapped white lady, obese lady in a wheelchair, she's like, look at this fucking... What the fuck, you just spit in a woman's face, bro? You just spit... He should've got, and he should've got jumped right there, see, if this was the opposite, if this was a, uh, a, a, a white wing guy who did that, at, at a feminist, uh, at, at a, uh, a left thing, they would've jumped him. Right here, because he's black, everyone's like, whoa, this black is, he's going out of line. In a woman's face? This guy's crazy. Hold this, Hold this, this guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. Yeah, you just spit. So now a white guy's going to try to fight him now because he spit on a woman. And look at all the black kids now. Now all the black kids are going to come out and go, yeah, we got your back, man. Yeah, we got your black. You got a right to spit in that Asian lady's face. On a woman. This trap heavy guy just spit on a woman. This guy's crazy. This guy's insane. Look at his face. He's fucking crazy. What do you want, sir? And then this guy doesn't like the type to throw a punch. He just, he looks scary. He's, he's making like the mean faces. You know, he's got like the, he's got the posture. Like I said, he's just a big guy. He's not huge. But he's big enough that he could scare people. You know, like prison tough. But he's got jewelry on. All you gotta do is rip the ear off his fucking ear. Take the fucking chain. Rip it around his fucking neck. You can easily beat this guy up. He's not that tough. What are you on, sir? Now imagine if a white guy spit in a black woman's face regardless of what happened. He would have got jumped right there. Mostly by white people, too. That's insane, bro. Oh, yo mama. Oh, oh shit. What the? So now they're fighting over an American flag. Someone just grabbed the American flag. And someone just punch. Then this guy comes up behind the other guy's head and starts to punch him beside the head. And now the white people are fighting. Oh, you guys got tricked. Ooh, he just got fucking hit upside the head with a skateboard. 
and now the Asian guy just pushed the fuck out of him. Oh shit! Oh, it was a black guy. A black guy oh, pushed him. Oh shit! Hey, good shit, bro. Shit. Fuck that guy. Fuck that motherfucker, bro. Trying to steal somebody's skateboard. Uh oh, cops! Hell yeah, bust this guy. Legally parking. This guy. This guy. He's illegally parked. He, he's illegally parked right here. Yeah. Arrest yes, he's getting arrested. Yep, you're illegally parking. You're spitting someone's face. Now the black guy's gonna do the thing where it's like. Oh, man, you just arrested me because I'm black. So why I legally park and spit in a woman's face? Come on, man. Arrest him. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, arrest that nigger. I mean, what, what, how do I edit this? How do I take this out? Woo! Your boy just got arrested. Yeah, idiot. Dumbass fool. These are how dumb Trump haters are. He assaulted, he spit on... He spit on Nessa. Where's Nessa? Hey, hey. He was assaulting people. Yes, you guys just assaulted that man back there. No, he tried to steal somebody's skateboard. Yes, he did. And now the black woman's defending him and say, "Yeah, well, what about the guy who?" It's like, well, we're not talking about the other guy. Once again, always got to deflect. I have it on camera. Yeah, I have it on camera, officer. All right, hold on, one at a time. Yeah. I'm the oldest. I'm 56 years. old. Oh my god, look at this. This woman got spit in the face, which once again, I kind of like. <laughs> and, and and the white cop's trying to get the story, and this black woman, she said she's 56. Why are you dressed like a fucking middle school student if you're 56 years old? Why don't you dress your age? Stop trying to look black and cool. You look like a fucking idiot. You look like crisscross from the fucking 90s. No, hold on, hold on. This guy down there. Okay. It was one he just, okay, just jumped No, this guy first. Can I have it on video? Let the man talk to It was one person only. So this I guy, speak now? Yeah. yeah, please. If he's willing to come forward as a victim, I can take my victim. I'm not going to chase him. Everyone. Yeah. You are a victim. No, I she's a victim. Okay. Yes. I have it on camera. Do you have it right? Yes. Can I have it on camera? Can I have it? Yeah, I have it on camera. I also have. Um, I'm a witness. He, so he illegally stopped right here, hopped out of his car. And now the black woman was trying to deflect once again. They go, yeah, but someone got hit with a skateboard. It's like, okay, well, first of all, you try to grab somebody's skateboard. If somebody try to, if somebody tries to steal from you, if somebody grabs your purse or your wallet, don't you have a right to defend yourself? Don't you have a right to push that person away or or clunk that person? You fucking idiot. So if someone tried to grab your purse, I guess you would just hand it over, right? You fucking ape. He's the one who attacked. Or the one who was attacked. There's a guy that tried to steal a skateboard, but. All right, let's get to the next clip. We spent enough time on that one. This next one is also a little bit long. This is an Asian woman from an Air, uh, Air, Air B and B. She says that um, she kicked out two black guys. They, they claim they called her monkeys. They, they they just got there. Can't you see the person's profile though before you select them to live in your place? But she's not happy having these two black guys uh, in her place because obviously she has a fantasy of getting blacked, and uh, she's mad because they don't want to fuck her. She's wearing a skirt. She's sitting there, you know, she's horny, and the black guys don't want Asian pussy, and she, uh, she called them monkeys. And here's this, here it is. You just came up here. It hasn't been 20 minutes since you left the door. Yes. You just came up here. It hasn't been 20 minutes since you left the door. Yes. You just came back up here. Give us a chance. Yeah. Hey, you're kicking us out. We have nowhere place to stay. We don't live here. We don't. Well, so give us, give us, give us, give us, give us, like, some courtesy. Okay, okay. Sure. give you five minutes. Please, because you're acting ridiculous. I'm waiting for the police please. anyway. I'm waiting for the police cause... here. I did. The police, are, are the police is on his on his okay. way because you're Let's acting. Let's go to the first floor. Let's I'm, I'm the packing police. myself. I'm packing myself. Thank you. Yes, and you've been recorded this entire time for calling us criminals for no reason. Because you just came up here. Okay, so that's it. I thought it was longer, but. I don't know what the part is when she called them monkeys, but I don't know what the part is, but uh, I guess that was just the first part. But uh, yeah, she they claimed that she ran and said no, and she busted through the door and started recording them, but I don't know, man. Airbnb, Airbnb is weird because when I was staying in New York years ago, I was looking for a place to crash, and this guy was only letting girls crash in his place. And I think I wrote in the comment section, what's the matter, dude? You don't let guys stay here? Or you like some peeping Tom or something? You know? You're like, you got some sort of hidden camera in the bathroom, you fucking idiot? But this next one is man harassing a teenage girl in a parking lot. That's what it said. That's what the title claims. With, within this area. And we're not going to take you this anymore. So you need to take your fucking car and get the fuck out of here. No. Yes, you do. No. Yes. 
You park this car okay, so she's in the car recording him. He's coming to the window. Audio sucks. Okay. Oh, he's claiming she's illegal. Probably is. Okay. No. 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 Can you? The cops are coming. I don't. I already called them. I don't care. Okay, the cops are coming. They're coming to talk to you. Okay. But you need to move. No. Because you don't belong here. No. You you don't live here, do you? Okay, I think I played this a while ago, but uh, the audio sucks. So let's get to the next one. This is pretty uh, interesting. This is a black woman. Uh, she yells at a customer in a 7-Eleven. So I guess he's recording the situation. And she gets pissed off because she looks like shit, by the way. And then she calls him a faggot. And she's very angry. So let's get to this. <laughs> Hey, dumbass, you want to leave the store? No, I'm gonna leave, bitch. Untuck your shirt, you faggot. You look like a gay ass nigga. Try to call question me. Never wait outside for your dumbass. Oh. It's like high school all over again. And her teeth look like Beetlejuice. I mean, my teeth are fucked up. I can't make fun of anybody's teeth. But her teeth have like spaces in between. Like, she got like piano teeth. And she's like getting real close to the camera now. She's gonna hit him or something. All that good shit. Ew. You got and now she's licking her tongue back and forth. This shit is nasty. Enough. And her eyes are all fucking coked out red. Do you have enough? Do you have enough? Ew. Yo, her eyes are literally in the camera. They're like literally like in his face. No, no, no. He wanna record me without getting authorization. Yo, she is literally on. She's touching this guy because her, the back of her head is literally touching his camera. He ain't got no right or authorization to record me. I can sue the fuck out. Now she just smacked the camera. Oh, she looks like a fucking nightmare. I don't think I'm in the black woman anymore to watch this. And now she just smacked the camera out of his hand. Yep, nigga, up on. Pretty please. I'm leaving. Bye bye. See you later. He's still recording her. He's, he's not even saying anything. He's giving her the, uh, which I kind of like, the treatment of not even, he's like, fuck it, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to keep recording. I don't give a fuck you, dumb as hell. They're going to lock you up for lying. Bitch, ain't nobody trying to rub the sword for the penis, but you dumbass bitch. Panic button. You can't fucking press that button for nothing. You're, you're in trouble. Right? Wow, what a great recent reference. So that bitch was fucking ugly. I see. That's the thing is about me is I would have pushed her right, right there, and she would have probably hit me or something. I would have said, "Get the fuck off me! Don't fucking come." Here. Uh, the next one is alcoholic pub owner loses his shit when employee quits. This is quick. This is a minute. What did I do wrong? I gave you another dollar. I'm not talking about it. I'm sorry. Jesus. Jesus. Fucking come out right now. You better come out with your fucking fist up. What the fuck, John? Hey, what do you want me to do? You're fucking walking out on me. Because we what do you want me to do? We deserve at all. Oh, okay, we don't, we don't deserve this whatsoever. Uh, so employees are quitting. So multiple employees quit on this guy. But he's saying almost like it's his own kids. Like, You're walking out on me. Hey, grow up, John. All right, so the audio classes suck. He starts. He tries to get in their face, and that's it. All right, two more left. Dad flips out on Popeye's staff for giving him the wrong order. So, uh, this guy, he goes right through the drive-thru and he gets pissed. Got the fucking nerves talking about some fucking boneless wings. Bitch is on. Hello? Hello. Hey, I ordered a goddamn three-piece and y'all gave me one goddamn chicken tender on my goddamn plate. Matter of fact, I'm coming to the goddamn Wonder. Hey, folks, you straight back up? Mind your goddamn business, man. <laughs> so this other guy tries to say, hey man, why don't you back up? <laughs> this guy. 
<laughs> he just wants to, I think he's having a bad day. See, that's the thing, man. He just, people just have a bad day and he got to take it out on poor customer service workers. Mind your fucking business. You don't know me like that. You don't fucking know me. Then this guy's scared now. He's like, all right, man. Because he's got a nice car, too, this guy. He's got like a nice looking like Cadillac. He's like, all right, man. All right, all right. You got it. You're that mad over chicken? You gonna kill me? You got it, man. Like that with them ugly ass rims. Fuck up, get your ass back in the car. I'm already pissed. Folks, all we wanna jump in shit. God damn, mind your goddamn biz. Roll them fuck. The guy rolled the window up and everything. Damn, he put him in his place. He can, he can tell this guy's crazy. That's why he's like, all right, I got a nice car here. I don't want to get killed in my car. I just want to get my chicken and get the fuck out of here. Come to the fucking one. Come to the fucking one. I swear to God. I ordered a fucking three piece for my goddamn auntie. <laughs> and the guy's reaction to the video, he's already looking at him like, you fucking asshole. You're fucking recording me. You know, and I'm fucking pissed. I want to throw a fucking lemonade in your fucking face, but I got to take this shit. And I ain't getting up but one fucking piece of chicken in it. What the fuck is going on, sir? Check your back or something, sir. Man, you want to fucking play? I'll get out here and beat your African-looking ass. Like I said. Hey, that's racist. A black guy can't say that to another black guy. Hey, can I speak to the manager? Can y'all get this African motherfucker out the window? Can I speak to the manager? Can I speak to the manager? Can I speak to the manager? Can I speak to the fucking manager? Open this goddamn one. I need to speak to the goddamn manager. Get your black ass out the one. I don't want to talk to you. You, hey, why you fucking laughing? This shit ain't funny. I think it's, I think it's fucking hilarious. I never seen somebody. Say, the woman's laughing at him. I would be cracking up too. Like, dude, you're that angry over chicken. How are you gonna handle life? Okay, they gave you the wrong order. They fucked up. I understand you're upset, but what the fuck, man? You're like the Hulk. Calm down, man. Bring your ass over here. Bring your ass to the wonder. Oh. See, that's why I don't fuck with y'all Popeyes. I'm gonna come in there and pop y'all motherfucking eyes out y'all fucking <laughs> This guy's a fucking comic, man. This guy's a fucking old black open mic comic. This motherfucker's joking, man. Hey, I'm gonna pop you goddamn. What's going on? Why I got a one piece? I ordered a damn three piece. Oh, now the white lady comes in the window. Oh, you white lady, you should have stayed away. You want a three piece? I ordered a three piece. I got one piece. Okay, let me see your receipt. No! I need my damn money right fucking now. And you got this fucking African right by you acting like he's hard. And he's playing with me. Can I get my money back? You know what? This Popeyes, but y'all gonna make me pop y'all goddamn eyes out y'all here. This, that guy was joking, man. <laughs> Either way, that shit was funny. Last one, angry dad freaks out a little season employees for taking too long to, for a carryout order. Yeah, right? An hour, an hour for a calling? No, give me my pizza, bro. Bro, if you give me my pizza, bro, for real. You're gonna give me my pizza, I'm gonna come over there and see you get my pizza, bro. Bro, you call my pizza, you call the cops, bro. I've been waiting here for a black call him, bro. Wow, I expect this from a black guy. I don't know what this guy is. I don't know if he's Greek, Italian, Hispanic. He's fucking pissed. But, I mean, if they took an hour to make a pizza, that is shitty. But it's Little Caesars. We're not talking about, like, a, like go to a fucking regular. If you're going to call, like, I, I would only go to a Little Caesars if I was getting, like, a you know like a, a hot and ready, you know? But if you're going to, like, call for a pizza, go to a local shop. Get a real fucking pie, you know? What if I do have insulted you, bro? bro? Well, you just say you're going to whip his ass. That is kind of insulting, you idiot. Call the cops. Well, yeah, you just made a threat. Yeah, call the cops. Go ahead. Right here. I've been waiting an hour and an uh, hour. I told her, call an order. And, I, and, and you, you asked me to offer me a two or 30 minutes ago. I'm just sitting here. That's five minutes ago, brother. You want to you see, see the time of the year, bro? I got a family in the car, bro. I got my kids in the car, bro. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. I apologize, you guys. I got rude, but there's a bunch of people right here that agree with me, boss. You don't know who you're messing with. You're messing with a man who takes his little Caesar's pizzas hot and ready seriously. I did all your security lighting, all your lighting, bro. I did all your security lighting, bro. 
Oh, that's who he is. He does the security line, and he works for an electronic company. So he can fuck their electronics up, and then some guy might break in 3 o'clock in the morning and steal the pizza off and all the dough and all the ingredients. Oh, shit, you just fucked up. The wrong people, bro, for real. I told you, I'm trying to get your friend. And, 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 and answer all these people. I've been waiting for an hour, bro. I understand so that. where's my friend? I need three questions. Like I said, you get out of me. You get in there, bro. All right, let me go. Can you say sorry to all these people too that you Guys, I'm very sorry for the wait, okay? We're going to take care of this. And I've been seeing more and more freakouts in Little Caesars. I mean, listen, I used to go there years ago when I had my car. And I would get, you know, their little shitty pizza. And I like the fact that it's, it's like cafeteria pizza. It's not that serious. It's not even that good to fight over, you know? All right, so you can't really hear the guy saying the audio is pretty bad because, you know, it's a phone from like a mile away. But that's it, guys. That's public freakout commentary. Entitled Assholes Recorded, NBA Record. All right, brother, the best show that comes up with the best coverage next segment. All right, it's Saturday night here, and I gotta tell you, I am tired. I did go out last night, as you could tell by the blog that I, the vlog that I posted about my last night of drinking. I did some drinking, only have about four or five hours of sleep, and I don't know if I'm going out tonight. It's about eight o'clock right now. I want to go out, but I didn't get much sleep today. I'm still kind of hungover. I'm thinking about going out just for a little bit, but I don't know. But I'm probably going to. But after this clip, if you hear commentary at home, sober commentary at home, that means I did not go out. And I decided to change my mind. But if you hear the regular segment, that means I went out. But either way, I will not be doing any drinking tonight. I dumped my bottle while we talked about We'll talk about that and all that stuff. And I didn't get much sleep today because all the fucking neighbors and spicks that live around me now are making noise and landscaping every fucking day. My fucking parents are fucking making noise like crazy. I can't fucking sleep, guys. I'm going nuts. Anyways, uh, yeah, sober commentary with drunk people. I mean, well, sober commentary in general will be after this clip. I don't know which part of it, but we will see. But I probably will go out, but we'll see. All right, let's get to the topical news. The freaking Raptors won game four, and it's three to one now. I don't know what's uh, going to happen, but who cares? I mean, I don't really care. I think the Warriors might be playing sleep, but yeah, man. Um, fucking, there you go. There's your basketball news. I was kind of paying attention to the game last night, but I was I was drunk and surrounded by ratchets. Yeah, Hillary Clinton's brother, Tony Rodham, dies. No joke there. I didn't know the guy. I don't like Hillary. I think she's a cunt, but I don't know her brother, so nothing. I won't say anything. Fan arrested after comments about Curry's wife. Oh, so at the game. Uh, what do you say? Hey, you want some attention, you whore? Oh, vulgar comments. Well, that's what she wanted, didn't she? Wasn't she crying that nobody was giving her attention? Uh, made vulgar comments according to P Toronto Police. Tristan has been charged with one count of mischief. Uh, it says uh, sexual assault. Well, that's what she gets. You know, what I did was disgraceful. Uh, that's what the guy said. They won't say what he said, but because I owe you an apology. And stuff. Well, that's what she gets. You know, she's crying. Those guys don't look at me. Guys don't talk to me. Well, you want guys to talk dirty to you, whore? Tan Mom is in critical condition. She's on the Howard Stern show. She's a part of the Howard Stern show. Howard Stern's like, ah, oh, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ah, oh, lose another, ah, uh, whack pack there, ah, uh, Robin. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's my Anthony Cumia impression of Howard Stern. Not as good as Anthony Cumia's. Usher gets a massive tattoo on his head and neck of herpes. No, I'm kidding. Not herpes. But he did get a tattoo. I don't care what it is. Because I'm not a faggot. A drunk driver kills two kids. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. Drunk driver kills two kids in an Amish buggy. Now, I'm not going to say that's a Josh Cast story. The Amish buggy part is, but the two kids aren't. As much as I hate kids, but... It says, a uh, drunk driver plowed into a, a horse-drawn buggy on Michigan Highway. A two- and a six-year-old died when the pickup truck rear-ended. Jesus. So I only laughed because the word Amish buggy. I was just watching uh, get, uh, Amish Paradise. What I, Weird Al's video last night, so that's why I laughed. I'm sorry. I don't think little kids. It depends on the kids if they're assholes. But 
It says uh, in prison letters, Whitey Bulger praised Trump. Well, there you go. We should praise Trump a little bit more. He's doing a good job keeping these violent spicks out of our country. You know, I hate everybody. <laughs> violent, uh, violent starts you Pride Month highlights up sticking the LGT. It shows a bunch of fat black lesbians eating each other's pussy. That's hot. I'm into that kind of stuff, right? Mm. Transgender body wants to lift up his community. Bodybuilder. Oh, it looks like a guy, but it's a woman. That's that's weird. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't have problem with the transgender community. I just, I just can't tell what the fuck they are nowadays. Bodies of women found in possible serial killer case. Hey, who's been doing my work? All right. NBA owner's wife explains her side in Beyonce moment. Yeah, what happened with that? I heard there was a a, a moment where Beyonce was uh, her her and the Jay Z, the Jay Z were having some issues. What what, what was going on? What what they what they fought? Let Beyonce to talk. What it says, uh, Beyonce to talk to Jay Z. Go to State Warriors. Uh, I don't know. What happened? There's no hostility. The couple several times. I was trying to be a good host. I don't know what happened, but yeah, there was there was some trouble. Apparently, but they're married, isn't that what married couples do? That they fight. He cheated on her, and she stayed with him, and she calls herself a queen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this high school uh, coaches uh, were sexually assaulting the cheerleaders. I don't think high school cheerleaders should have a guy coach. I mean, makes sense, kind of, doesn't it? Bunch of little petite chicks bouncing around in the little skirts around some horny guy who can't get laid from his fat wife. Oh, you think we shouldn't do that? All right, guys. Uh, once again, no drinking tonight. No concoction. But I'm probably going to go out anyways. It's about 8.10. I'm probably going to get ready in a couple minutes. I'm just going to force myself to go out. I'm tired. If I was smart, the fact I'm already fat, I, I'll probably go to bed around 10, 11 tonight. I'm just going to fucking go out. I might only go out for two hours, maybe three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out tonight. Fuck it. All right. Not for the video, not for you, just for me. I don't know why. I shouldn't, but I'm probably gonna. So you stay put there for sober commentary with drunk people, officially sober. All right, and then we'll wrap the show up with some Tabaco Nandus. You stay put there, you fucks. Hey, sober commentary with drunk people, part one. It is Saturday night, nine o'clock, early as fuck. Last night, let's talk about it. Last night I left out at, uh, uh, fucking, what was it? I don't even remember. I left out like 9, 9.20ish, I guess. I had to take a shit. I was going to leave out earlier. I was going to leave out like 9.05. I left out like 9.15, 9.20th. And, uh, I took a shit. Like I said, a messy shit. It took a while to clean up. Bus took about 10 minutes or so. Got down here at Old City at 10. I made a concoction, as I said before in the video blog. Of uh, it was like 30% spring water, 30%, uh, I mean, f uh, like 30% vodka, like 40% or 30 40% whatever water. Shit was nasty. It wasn't the worst concoction I made. Like that time I drunk my own semen. You guys remember that? Oh, wait, I and uh, pretty much I, um, pretty much I fucking, uh, I was drinking that shit, you saw me, I was doing my vlogging stuff. Got down to Columbus Boulevard, didn't get here early enough to, if you get the mortgage before 10, it's a free cover. I didn't get down here early enough, so I was sitting outside the Columbus Boulevard, I mean I was sitting across from a peg, vlogging, I was drunk, I was cursing people out, in my mind of course, and I went to Morgan's, I sat outside. As I said in the video blog, the only thing that really happened was there was a lot of people trying to sneak in. These uh, young thoughts next to me, one of them, uh, she licked her stamp, you know, the, the smear in her friend's arm, and they caught her. So when she went in, they called her the Licky Licky Girl. They said, hey, we saw you, Licky Licky Girl. You can't come in here. And then her friend tried to go, and they said, no, you're with the Licky Licky Girl. So these young thoughts, there was a bunch of white hoes next to me. They were annoying. They're like... Every second, I got a good pee, and they're just fucking stupid. You know, they're all fucking stupid. Then this fucking fat white hoe, she sat, like, on my butt cheek. Like, her butt cheek's touching my butt cheek, which is the most action I've gotten in a long time. And then five to 20 seconds, I finally just moved over, like, a little bit. And she didn't even look at me. You know, typical rude cunt. And, um, you know, there was fucking, what else happened? Something else happened I can't think of. Um, oh, yeah, there was this drunk girl. 
only interaction I really had last night. This girl got too drunk. She lost her boyfriend. Apparently, they, you know, they escorted her out, and she had a, she, they got her purse. She sat down real close to me, so I knew something was up. She sat down like really close to me, and she was like, "I just want to go home." And I was playing with my phone. You know, I was kind of vlogging. I was looking at the score for the, the Warriors and the Raptors game. And then she was like, can I use your phone? I need to call somebody. And then she got up. So she came back down. And she said, I just need to call somebody. I said, do you really need the phone? So I pulled out my phone. And usually, you know, you guys know I hate women. But I don't know. It wasn't really like an emergency. But I was totally willing to fucking let her use my phone. Even though I, you know, I really don't care to fucking do that shit. For, you know, especially for cunts, you know. So I started dialing this number. I started dialing 484. And then she's like, I gotta go pee really bad. And she got up. I'm walking down the Morgans, by the way, right now as I record this. So yeah, she um she got up as I was gonna help her. And she went over to one of the bouncers and said, Hey, can I go back in? I gotta go pee. And I just walked up and I walked away. I was like, fuck this bitch, I need to get away from her. I was I was wearing a black shirt last night. She probably thought I worked there. I was like, I need to get away from her. I need to get away from this situation. And I saw a big line of people. A lot of people were trying to sneak in, they were getting caught, they were trying to you know, jump over the rail, and they all got caught, you know, the security knows all the tricks in the book, so then I was, uh, sitting outside LePeg, doing some, uh, some vlogging, I went back to Old City, and by that time, it was like 12 o'clock, and I was like, you know what, I think that's it, I'm going home, you know, the drink really wore me out, I was tired, I went for an hour walk yesterday, played basketball this week, went to the gym a little bit, went on some walks, you know, I mean, listen, I'm still fat, still eating out of control, but I'm trying a little, you know, and, uh, fucking, so I got this, so as soon as I was going to do a segment last night, sober comedy, as soon as I got down to the train station, the train pulled out, I was going to miss it, this fucking hood rat was in my way, and then I, uh, I made the fucking train, had to do a little running for it, but I made it, luckily I didn't drop anything, and then it took about... Uh, I did a little vlogging at the bus station, as you saw, to wrap it up, train station, and pretty much I, uh, yeah, I fucking, uh, the bus took about 10 feet, I was gonna take the other bus, I took the one, it was crowded as fuck, uh, it was like a lot of sketchy characters on the bus, as you can imagine, 12, 12, 1 o'clock in the fucking northeast, and, uh, this fucking woman with her kids, you know, they fucking, uh, she was, the fucking bus driver stuff her. So anyways, I got home last night at almost one. I was fucking tired. I was fucking mobbed, you know. I mean, I was fucking tired from the drink. I only got about four or five hours of sleep. Got up this morning. I fucking, uh, you know, I went for a walk in the park and I tried to get a nap. I only fell asleep for like a half an hour. And then my, my mother woke me up for something and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I, so I was up all day, you know, and I took a bunch of shits because I drank three glasses of chocolate milk. So I took like four or five shits today. Which well, seems like that always happens on a Saturday. That's why I was so I wasn't gonna go out tonight, right? Oh yeah, so last night I finished my bottle. What happened was I dumped it out. I had about five ounces left, which is enough for one more drink. One more strong drink. I'm about to go down the hill now. Uh, 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 Alright. And I decided to fucking dump it out. You know? So and I actually just threw, I actually just threw my bottle in the trash at the Burger King bus stop before I got up here. So I'm officially done my bottle. And I was going to go out tonight because I'm tired. I was like, I could really, probably go to bed tonight. 10, 11 o'clock tonight. I really could. 10, 11 o'clock, I could probably go to the fucking, I could probably go to sleep. But I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to go out. I'm still hungover from last night a little bit. I'm still a little drunk. I am, I'm not too sleepy. I definitely feel tired, and I said, fuck it, you know? So, I left out at, uh, uh, 8, what is it? Oh, shit, there's a fire, right where I walk across to go to stop to go to Morgan's, there's a fire truck out here, and ambulances, something happened, guys, and I'm not trying to make fun of it, because I don't know the situation, but Josh Jack has got your coverage, Josh Jack News Team, on it, um, so, so pretty much, um, I left out at 8.25. The bus took about 10 minutes. There was this fucking black woman on the, uh, at the bus stop with me. She like, she swear she was cute. She was so old and just crackhead looking. She was like looking around. Like, anyways, looking at her. It's like, I moved away from her. I was like, yeah. And uh, I'm about to walk over now. I'm trying to see what's going on. There's all these fire trucks. Something happened. Fuck. The 
was just scary. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, last night there was a lot of thoughts out, you know. Some of the girls were cute. Like, I saw this uh, really attractive uh, black girl running across the street with her white friend. And I saw this tall, thick white jaw, white girl. Um, yeah, she was she was kind of cute. She was real big, though, real big, real tall. Shit, this guy, he's so desperate to pick somebody up in his fucking car. He's making a U-turn right here. Fucking fire station. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Somebody fell in the river. Somebody either jumped in the river or somebody fell in the river. That's what happened. Holy shit. Fucking goose on the river. Yeah, so there's an accident. I see there's a bunch of cops looking on a boat. And everyone's got their phones out and everybody's recording this. Everyone's recording this. Everyone's looking to see what happened. This is fucking crazy. I'm walking away from this. I don't know what's happening. I smell smoke. Somebody's wrath, I think, lit up on fire. I'm trying to get away from this madness. And uh, so, yeah, pretty much uh, last night was a decent night. Finished my bottle uh, tonight. Uh, that's all. Oh, yeah. I had an interesting train ride. One last thing I want to say before I, I get to the Morgans is... I fucking, um... Cool. Good for you, bro. Something happened up here. Yeah, so, um, there was an interesting trade ride. This white dude looked like a junkie. He was, like, ducking. Like, he was, like, somebody was shooting a gun. And he was, like, ducking. You know? And it was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, so what happened just now was I was talking, and I walked on the wrong side, and this fire started truck guy to say hey you gotta move over uh yeah so this one guy was he was like ducking on the train and then this muslim guy sat like right across me i was sitting on a stool by myself oh yeah tonight by the way the theme of tonight is i'm saying hey look everybody i'm vlogging here and i'm just doing weird shit um it's not gonna be funny but anyways i'm at the mortgage right now it's only 9 11 no joke uh and there's like a 9 11 out here no pun intended uh but yeah, man, I'm fucking, uh, still a little dark, still a little sunlight out here, but not much, about to go away. But yeah, and then this Muslim guy was, like, so close to my, oh, not to my face, but he was, like, near me. And then finally he moved back, because so many people were walking by. And then, I don't know what happened with these hoodlums were on the bus. And, uh, I don't know if there was a fight, or there was some, definitely some yelling going on. And that's it, that's all that's happened so far. So, that's part one. Uh... Part two is going to be later tonight. If anything happens, we'll talk about it. I don't know how late I'm staying out tonight. Either 12 or 1. Probably either 12 or 1 I'm going to leave. So, uh, probably 1. But we'll see. If I get too tired, I might not. But no drinking tonight. I'm so hungover from last night. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll, cover, we'll wrap this up later, all right? All right. Sober commentary. Drunk people take two. It's almost... 12. I'm getting ready to head to my train station. I should just leave now, but I don't know, man. I'm thinking about going home, man. I'm bored as fuck. Uh, so pretty much, you guys heard the last clip. I was walking down to the um, the Columbus Boulevard, and there was the, the fire trucks. I don't know what happened, but like I said, the fire guy told me I was walking on the wrong side, and he pretty much, uh, you know, I walked around and shit. And then you saw, I was doing various clips. I, was, I don't know, I was going for a different idea. I was like, you know, I did, I did uh, stupid clips uh, at the train, on the train, outside the train station, at the river, inside the Morgans, outside the Morgans. Um, fucking uh, walking down an alley. Uh, fucking, you know, um, outside of a bike rack place. You know, fucking uh, outside of a cheesesteak shop. And by the way, after, with the one with the cheesesteak shop, where you see the, hey, I'm outside of a cheesesteak shop. I'm not sure if these black people are talking about me. There's this couple, black couple, right? And they're walking down the street and I heard them say, that's not funny. And then the other one was like, yeah, that's, and the other one was like, yeah, that's not, that's not funny. But I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're actually like referring to me. If they were, they probably were right. I mean, maybe it wasn't funny. But I just did it for like three seconds. And, you know, then I did one outside the salsa bar. I did one outside of a vape shop. I did one 
I don't know. I did like ten of them, and you know, I just I was just going for something different tonight. You know, I got to fight outside Morgan's. I was sitting. Oh yeah, so pretty much what happened inside the. Uh, pretty much what happened inside the Morgan's was. Uh, Nothing special really happened. Uh, I was standing around, and at first I had a good spot. And then uh, these random people were standing next to me because, you know, this guy's moving this big podium thing, so they moved away from me. Then the fireworks started popping off across the river, and it looked, like, pretty good. And everyone had to come over and take a picture of it with their cell phone. I'm like, you guys can't Google image, you know, like fireworks. you never seen fireworks your whole life. I mean, it looked cool, but it's like your shitty phone camera's not going to capture that. Even if you have an iPhone, maybe it will. I don't know. But everyone's taking pictures. You know, there was lots of ass and tits in there. Lots of chicks had their ass and titties falling out like crazy. And, of course, I did nothing. And then um, I was just moving. Uh, I was fucking pretty much moving away from everybody in there. You know, I was mobbed. I didn't recognize anybody there I knew. I think I saw one of the RST guys always there. I call him the Chicken McNugget. He's a short black guy. He's okay, actually. I've talked to him a few times. He's okay, but I don't, you know, we don't talk. He went to the blue moon. And um, and then fucking pretty much I was I was, I was in there for like maybe like an hour. I was moving around. I, first, I walked around the dance floor. I was walking around. I was pretty much. There was these hosts taking pictures next to me, these blonde girls. I moved away from them. The girl was purposely trying to like get close to me, so she probably wanted to ask me to take her picture. And I'm like, nah, I'm not taking your picture. You know what I'm saying? And then... Um, and then all of a, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, uh, what else happened in there? Oh, yeah, there was this guy. He was with these girls. He was, like, bumping into me. He was, like, hugging him and shit. And I was, like, you know, like, not shoving him, but I was kind of, like, trying to move away from him. And then when this guy tried to get by, he moved out the way. And I gave him a look, like, get the fuck away from me. Like, how come you moved out the way when the guy wanted to get by, the bigger guy, but when I was standing there? Like, people just treat me like that because I'm by myself, you know. But anyways, you're just some douchebag guy. And every time I found a place to stand, there was just faggots just coming next to me. Uh, random drunk dude sitting next to me outside. Then there was a fight. You guys saw the fight video. What happened was beforehand, this guy's walking down the street with his chick, and she probably almost bumped into one of them or something. One of them said something like, "Hey, you taking care of your girl or something?" The guy, the guy, the guy started it. The guy who was with the group, and he's a pussy because the guy, if the guy was by himself, the guy who said that, he wouldn't have said that. You know what I mean? He wouldn't have said that. The guy that was. That was with the group. He wouldn't have said that. You know what I mean? He only said it because once again, guys have to act tough when they got their when they got their crew with them. You know what I mean? Because he would have he would have you know obviously never started that if you know he was by himself. He's a fucking pussy. So the guy was defended his girl. You know he was like, "What the fuck? I'll fight all four years." You could tell they were scared. Like, uh, he wasn't a huge guy, but I think he would have whipped their ass. I really do. So I started recording. One of the guys saw me record. I was going to say something, but he didn't. So afterwards, I got up and you know. I decided to go to uh, Old City. I went to Nationals. Uh, nothing really fucking happened in there. You know, the uh, Asian bouncer was like, you lose weight? I'm like, yeah, I wish. <laughs> I ate a lot today. And I was like, nah, it's the shirt. I'm wearing my boogie green shirt. I was like, nah, it's my shirt. And then fat fuck Chuck was like, I like the, the fabric of this. What is this? I was like, I don't know. I was like, it's fucking polyester or some shit. And then I went inside. And there was some girls in there. Not a lot. More than last night, but I didn't do anything. I just fucking... Uh, you know, I just fucking stood around like a jerk off, and then I went inside Lucha to go pee. Lucha's kind of dead, uh, you know. And I was I was sitting out here for the last half an hour, and that's it, man. I'm ready to go. I took a piss inside the Lucha, and that's it, man. There's not much really going on, even though it's early. I'm thinking about calling it a night. I really don't feel like staying out here for another hour. I was sitting out across from Lucha, my go-to spot, and this Hispanic dude sat next to me. This random guy looks like Baraka from Mortal Kombat. He just fucking sat next to me. You know what I mean? He just fucking sat next to me and fucking, uh, and fucking, um, you know, and, and, uh, fucking, he just fucking pretty much sat next to me and, yeah, it's like a million places to stand, but he had to stand next to me. And there's like not much really going on out here. Some guy just before I started recording asked me what a Wawa was. He was like, hey, you know where the, you know where the Wawa is or something. And that's not anything interesting uh, worth talking about, but that's what happened. And I'm getting ready to fucking go, go home. I always walked across the street. I got hit by a car. I always got hit by a goober. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go home. I don't know. The bus is going to leave at 1240. It's just nothing going on out here. I mean, it's the same. It's the same shit. 
over and over. You know what I mean? Same shit. And it's not worth really, you know, talking about. Um, but that's all that happened. Pretty much I tried to go for a different type of vlog. Still a little bit drunk from last night. Oh, my buzz is wearing off. I'm a little sleepy. I gotta probably go to bed pretty easy when I get home. Yeah, man. It's like, without hanging out with other people, it's kind of... What's kind of... It's kind of redundant. Oh, yeah. When I was inside the morgue, these girls were like... They were lighting up cigarettes in there. And you can't smoke in there. And the guy was just about to say something, but then they walked away. Those were the fat bitches that were bumping everybody. Yeah, everybody's coughing over the smoke. Everybody's trying to get that that lung cancer. That lung cancer goes nice. There was these fucking ratchet hoes out here chasing each other around. Oh man, <coughs> I'm starting to get secondhand lung cancer. I think I missed my train already. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll. Hey, I get lucky and I'll fucking. Hey, fucking douchebag. Damn, man. So I don't know what else to do with these video blogs. Uh, one of the black couple was talking to me. And, oh, they can suck my cock. They can suck my cock. But yeah, a lot more action, obviously. Down the Columbus Boulevard. Than down here. But, you know, I like... I don't know. Tonight was a breezy night. It was kind of cold. I'm wearing no underwear, as you guys know. You guys know how I roll. You guys know how I roll. And, uh, I don't got nothing else to say, really. Heading down to the freaking train. If I can make it. So, so many people in my fucking way. I don't want to miss my train. It's how these people get by. I knew I was going to miss my fucking train. I fucking knew it, man. These fucking people, they walk so fucking slow, these fucking crackers. Damn, man. I got no fun. Last night I just made it. Tonight I just missed it. Fucking it. I hate this shit. Well, folks, look like I'm stuck out of here for another... Fucking... Just fucking missed it. I missed it by like 20 seconds. I fucking missed it. Fucking no luck in this shit life. Alright, I, I got nothing else to say. I'm done recording. I don't know. I might as well just stay out to one. So I'm gonna miss my buzz. Well, this is uh, Sober Commentary Drunk People, the Sober Born Edition. I'll see you. Alright, it's Sunday night here. It's time to wrap this episode up. Got to the park today, slept all day, ate. Today was a good day, I guess you could say. If anybody wants to send a contribution or a donation, send it to paypal.com slash jjakubi1 or streamlabs.com slash josh underscore jak. That's josh underscore jak. So I can get my dad something for Father's Day, which I already will. But, uh, or just donate anyway. Uh, you don't have to. I'm going to create content no matter what. But it will be nice. Either way, doesn't matter. Okay, so the next episode, you're going to hear a, a new prank phone call. And I forgot what it's going to be. It's going to be, um... Oh, it's going to be Library Weed. I call up this librarian lady. And, uh, I, uh, you know, I asked if I, someone sold me weed. And she was pretty cool about it. Which means she obviously smokes weed. Well, folks, let's get to the topical news and wrap this up with some weird news. Marcia Cross, grateful common after cancer treatment. She's an actress. And, uh, it says, uh, so refreshing, says hiker missing for six days after first sip of water. Yeah, I mean, that guy got lucky. He was almost dead. I don't know how he made it that much. 
Oh, if some woman beat up another woman in UFC, knocks out eye. She knocks out the girl's eye with head kick. That's pretty fucking cool. I support women beating other women. And women getting beat in general. New York City impounded ice cream trucks with 4.5 million in tickets. Yeah, well, you can go to the supermarket nowadays and buy ice cream. You know? We're, we're a fat country. You know, I get good exercise when I go to the supermarket and I carry some bags. You know, I get more of a sweat when I go to Planet Fitness. Hey, how you doing there, folks? You still listening to the show? All right. Some of these stories I already read. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. This is fucking awesome. Oh, this is that awesome. Burger King worker caught on video mopping tables. I've seen people do that before, though. I forgot where. I, I swear I saw a person in real life do that. Have it your way. This is in Jackson, Florida. <laughs> and the person's recording them. I've seen someone do that before, but, uh... Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you know, people will do, you know, cut corners. I would do the same thing if I was working a job that only pays eight bucks an hour. I was actually thinking about working at Burger King for the summer because I am freaking broke this this month, folks. No jobs. Uh, Durant is going to practice for Game Five, but they say he looks bad. He broke his calf, so yeah, I think it's over for the Warriors. They fucked up. The Canadians are going to win. I mean, well, the team. Deputies arrest man after two people found dead. Uh, that's how that happens every day. Yeah, I think that. So I think the Warriors. I think the Warriors will win one more game. I'm going to say uh, the the Raptors in six. But I could be wrong. It could be the Raptors in five. Oh, a crane collapsed. One person has been dead and six people have been injured. Nothing funny about that. Uh, some uh, pl- baseball player got death threats over a cunt. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Over a bunt. You got to be careful how you read things. One little letter and whew. Jimmy Carter got a, uh, a little uh, tweet from Trump. Okay. We all know Trump's very active. All right, let's get to the weird news if there's anything. There's not much really going on, guys. There's really not much. As you can see, my making my mouse clicking like crazy. That means there's not much really of anything going on. Nearly 600 years, New, New, New Jersey's town historic Oak Tree Falls. Now we can get paper out of that motherfucker. New Jersey students save from summer job with one million dollar lotto win. He should still go back to work that fuck. 344. Oh, yeah, fortune cookie. I think I read that before last week. Yeah, I read so many stories already, if not all of them. I don't have to tell you guys. It used to be a good section. I used to get it from Huffington Post, all my weird news, and then they, they stopped. But then again, who cares? You guys don't need news. Theme park employees simple. Sue the act goes viral. Let's see what did he, what this person did. Oh, an auti- autistic boy had a meltdown at a theme park, and uh, I'm not sure what the person did, but uh, I guess they were just really patient and kind to him. But yeah, that's cool. New pistachio frog species found. All right, guys, there's no news going on. <laughs> this was just a waste of a segment. But I think on the next episode, I'm going to hit up uh, Willie and Billy to see if they want to do a Josh cast uh, this coming Thursday. I think I got some topics. I think it's time for us to get back together and do a Josh cast not live. There's a slight chance it might happen, but fuck it. Let's try. And we'll go from there. So thank you for listening to any of this. From the bottom of my rotten heart, and I'll see you folks on the next one. You just listen to, and we're out of here. Congratulations. You just sat through the most awful podcast you can sit through. Josh Cast.